hi welcome to my channel if you're a returning subscriber welcome back thanks for clicking on this video so today as you can tell by the title I'm gonna be reading my ancestry DNA results I've been really excited for this cuz I've been wanting to know for a long time you know I mean when you're born you kind of know what you are like my mom says my dad's that but you don't really know the details of it so I was really excited to do this and I want to thank um, my boyfriend's aunt her name is Veronica she actually mailed the kit to me so I didn't pay for it this is actually basically sponsored by her because she paid for the kit and sent it to me so thank you so much this is something I wanted to do for a really long time so I got the kit I sent it off it took about four or five weeks for me to get it back and the results are in so let's just get right into it so I have my sister's laptop here thanks to my sister for letting me use her laptop there's something in my eye so I have, I'm logged in logged in you can't see it's like super okay so let's see it says discover your DNA story ethnicity estimate I really want to show you guys this Okay, so here it is. It's the lights are too bright. I'm so sorry. I'll just read them off. So it says, I am 51% Polynesian. And Polynesian, um, let's see, if you click on it, it kind of goes primarily located in Tonga and Samoa. Um, so if you're not familiar with what a Polynesian is, uh, Basically, the, the Polynesian Islands, which is Hawaii, Samoa, Tonga, Fiji. There's other ones in there. So that is from my mom, obviously. So I'm 51%. So I'm basically a little bit over half of Polynesian, which I knew. My mom is Samoan. My mom is full Samoan. And then all my life, I've known myself as my mom is Samoan. My dad is Mexican. So that's what I know that I am. So with my dad, I mean, what I'm thinking comes from my dad's side. I'm 25% Native American. It just says primarily located in North America and Central and South America. Okay, I'm 16% Iberian Peninsula, which I've never heard of Iberian Peninsula, but it it is primarily lo primarily located in Spain and Portugal, which makes sense because Mexicans are basically Native Americans and Spanish mixed together, which makes a Mexican. So, but I'm a little bit more native. It looks, it looks like I'm 25% native and 16% uh, Iberian Peninsula, which is Spain. Um, this is one that really shocked me. It's actually, I'm 3% Middle Eastern, which is Syria, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, Jordan, Oman, Yemen, United Arab Emirates, Lebanon, and Israel. So 3% of my DNA comes from that region, which is cool. I thought this was really cool because my boyfriend is actually Egyptian and so my son is and I was like, hmm. But it doesn't say Egypt in there so I don't know. It is Middle Eastern though. 3% Asia Central, which I was like, oh Asian, but no, Asia Central actually is Afghanistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyz Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan. I hope I'm saying those right. So 3% of me is also that part of, of the world. And then I'm only 1% um, Europe South, which is primarily Italian, Italy and Greece. That's only 1%. So basically that part of the world is, I'm about 6% of like the Middle Eastern, Asian type of area. And then I am less than 1% Mali, Mali, Guinea, 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 which is located in Africa. So less than 1%. I really, I really wasn't surprised, that surprised as far as like the Polynesian side and um, like the Native American and Spanish stuff. I was more surprised about the Middle Eastern stuff, which I really, I really like actually. Um, and I actually was, I kind of was surprised that I was more Polynesian. I just feel like like growing up my whole life. I, I never looked like I never looked someone or Polynesian 
and so I always kind of felt like maybe my dad's jeans were a little bit stronger but it looks like actually my mom's jeans were a little bit stronger as far as my DNA so yeah I mean to me it also makes sense because my mom has five kids I'm the middle child and out of all of my siblings I can understand when she speaks of one the most I can understand her the most um I can't I can say certain words but I am so Americanized that I just sound like not someone <laughs> uh, yeah it's super kind of a short video but I was really excited to share also the cool thing about this ancestry DNA website is it'll actually show you um, DNA matches to you so um, after my DNA results came back I was getting emails um, well, not getting emails actually I was logged in and it would show me like my fourth and fifth cousins like great 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 grandparents that we shared and that's how we're related and it's really cool for you way for you to connect um, I believe that this kit is a hundred dollars normally sometimes they go on sale for I've seen them for 79 69 um, I know it could be really expensive but it is really awesome and I really want to do it for my kids as well because like I said, my boyfriend is, his dad is from Egypt and his mom is from Holland and they're Dutch. So yeah, I really am excited because that plus that plus I'm Samoan, Mexican and all these other things. And then our kids together, they're probably so like super mixed, which is, it's beautiful. I love it. I love the mixture of cultures. So anyways, thanks for watching me read my results to this. If you if you have the chance to do this, I highly recommend it. If you're not into it, like there's some people who are just like, I don't care like what I am, like what are you gonna do with it? I know there's not really anything you can do with it, but it is really nice to know like that's your blood, that's your ancestry. You know, it's just, it's just cool to know like those things those things are inside of you and it could explain you know a lot of the things that you like and stuff like that but anyways thanks for watching today see you guys in my next video bye